Look at that. That's the top of a tree. That's not even a dead tree. That's not even a widow maker you could look out for. That's literally the top of a tree. Well, how's it going guys? I'm back out and it's beautiful right now. I'm in a winter wonderland. It's obviously had some sort of ice storm, freezing rain and then it snowed and it looks amazing. So today I'm going to be doing some ice fishing. Never ice fished before in my life. Hopefully try and do a catch and cook if I catch anything. We'll see. I'm also going to go up the trail and bag myself a shelter which you haven't seen me do since some of my earlier videos but I figured today would be a good day and I'll explain why later and I also have some new pieces of gear with me so I'm gonna show you that probably tell you a little bit about it so it should be a good day it's supposed to be a little warmer today it's supposed to be a little warmer this evening so stick around I don't know if you can see that track in the snow it goes right across the trail down there comment down below what you think that is like there's no there's no footprint it kind of looks like a snake but that's pretty fresh comment leave me a comment let me know what you think that is Well, I made it. I'm here. This is home for the night. Yesterday, I was so excited to get out and go camping. I was like, I'm gonna hydrate all day, drinking water, I'm gonna go to bed early, I'm gonna get a good night's sleep. I was in bed, I was all excited. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna be full of energy and I'm gonna go and it's gonna be great. And then I woke up this morning and I felt like a bag of bee holes. When I say a bag of bee holes, I don't mean half a bag or a handful of bee holes. I mean like a full bag of bee holes. But uh, my plan was to ice fish and I'll show you like the open, there's open water on this pond. So I'm gonna have to be very careful, very careful. But I'm also super glad I got this shelter and I didn't, I decided not to bring my tarp and I'll show you why. See this? There's the shelter. This whole thing was the top of that tree five minutes ago before I turned on the camera. You can see it, look. All that. This is another thing that came off this tree in here. Literally, a couple. 30 seconds after the other one fell so yeah if I decided just to bring the tarp or a tent I mean you saw on the way in how many trees are just bent all the way over from the ice as it's starting to warm up that's when they're all starting to crack they're all starting to spring back and break so yeah definitely happy I'm in this structure and not in, under my tarp that, that would be dangerous that would be really dangerous yeah my plan now is to try and ice fish but as you can probably see on the lake or a little pond that I'm on, there's open water. But 
I have some stuff for that. Oh, and you probably noticed my new jacket, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So, for ice fishing, I have just a little Berkeley rod and reel combo that I got from Sporting Goods Store for baits. This is all I've got. I've got a buckshot spoon, little jig heads, some minnow jig heads, and some wax worms. Never ice fished before in my life. I think that's what you need. I'm, I have no idea what I'm going to be after, but I'm going to try it. So I also have this little $7 hatchet from Walmart, which <laughs> I could ride bare ass to London and back on that thing. That has got absolutely no edge on it, but I'm not exactly going to use a hundred plus dollar Holtifer's axe to whack the ice with, so this will do. And then I also have this, which I spent $40 on, which is the most important item I think I brought with me for this mission. Considering they say the buddy system for ice fishing, so that would include Two people is the safest option. I don't have a buddy with me, I'm solo. This. See there? It's got two carabiners on the end. Got it on Amazon, $40. It's a climbing rope. So I know that it'll hold my weight. Safety first, guys, right? Yeah, I was thinking about getting something at Walmart when I was there, but they didn't have the weight rating. Like I say, this will hold my weight. My plan is to lash. One end to a tree, a sturdy tree, on the bank, and then tie the other end around me. And I'm, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, or if that's safe or not, but I ha I'm confident that if I, fall, if I fell through, I could pull myself out. So it's better to be safe than sorry, right? So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rig up my rod and do some fishing. That was nerve wracking. I wanted to do that. As if you noticed, I was prodding it before I stepped out on it. It's like mushy on top, and then it's pretty solid underneath. So I figure I'm gonna try and bust a hole before I rig up my rod and go out there. So probably gonna, probably gonna leave the camera on the shore. Before I go busting through that ice with that hatchet, I better put on my safety glasses. Blocking out the haters. Ooh, I don't like this. I've got my rope. Oh, 
the ice is plenty thick enough. Yeah, that ice is like thicker than the edge of that. Alright, panic over, that ice is at least four inches thick, which is what you need from what I was reading, so I'm going to test the depth with my stick and see how deep it is, but that makes me feel better. My heart was beating there for a minute. Still got my rope close by just in case. Oh, she's deep. Well, it's not that deep. What do you reckon? About six, seven foot of water. Right, we've got my little minnow there. Tipped it with a wax worm on my little rod. Danny and Sue, my wife's aunt and uncle, gave me a gift card for for Dick, so Sue and Danny, if you're watching this, thank you. You bought this. <laughs> and I've got something else, which if I catch something, you'll see as well. Well, I'll show you anyway, but hopefully I'll catch something. Let's get some jigging done. Well, nothing. Your boy got skunked. I was out there for a little while, jigging. I even made another hole close to the shore. Nothing. So, it's getting late, it's getting half two. So I need to get some firewood. Katata fish! Check it out! Silky, big boy! <laughs> Everyone was saying, getting a silky big boy as well. And my amazing wife got me not only the Agua Canyon as an early Christmas present, but under the Christmas tree there was this. The big boy. So there you go, I have two saws. I've got all the saws a man could ever want now. So I haven't used it yet, so I'll give it a try. See how it goes. Get my new jacket dirty, look. For anyone who's interested, this is a Rab Xenon X E N O N. I am six foot tall, 185 pounds with a 42 inch chest, and this is a men's large. 
It's a synthetic jacket. I bought this because I wanted a different jacket for the summer. You've probably seen my Mama event, Avant featherless jacket, which is a great jacket, don't get me wrong, it's nice and warm, but it wasn't very compressible and it was heavier than this jacket. I bought that Mama to replace my green down jacket, which I'd had probably four years because obviously synthetic, when it gets wet, retains its heat better and that down jacket was just a cheap, I think I paid $35 for it. It wasn't made for doing stuff outside, really hiking, all that good stuff. So I bought the Marmot jacket to replace that jacket. And me being me, the Marmot was cheap. It was, a, I paid $80 for it off a website called mountainsteels.com. I'm not affiliated with it in any way, but there's good deals on there for anyone who's interested. It's mountainsteels.com. So I bought the Marmot jacket and it's a great jacket, don't get me wrong, it's nice, it's warm, but it's not very compressible, like I say. It doesn't compress down very tight. This thing compresses down into this little chest pocket. The Marmot jacket weighed, or weighs over a pound. This is 12.7 ounces. I've got stuff in the pockets of it, hang on. Yeah, this compresses down into this little inside pocket which is easy. I did it last night. I'll see if I can do this nice and quick. Boom, done. And that's what it packs down into. My Marmot jacket, as much as I like it, it will, it, it's supposed to compress into the pocket and it will, but I don't even bother because it takes so long. It's, it's such a tight fit and you're literally stuffing and stuffing and stuffing. So yeah, I wanted something a little more compressible. This isn't a winter jacket no, to replace the Marmot by any means. This is more gonna be for the summer, for longer trips, but I figured because it was supposed to be 40 degrees today with lows of 30 tonight, which is, is pretty warm for this time of year, I figured I'd give it a run around. I know it's not a very bush crafty color, neither is my other jacket, but I'm not bothered about color. I just get whichever is on sale. Some colors are on sale, some colors aren't, but I don't mind. For me, my gear has to be dual purpose. I like to do bushcraft stuff. I like to do longer distance hiking, canoe trips. I need stuff that is lightweight as well. And sometimes I find, I don't know about you, but a lot of times I see bushcraft stuff and it seems more like an aesthetic than anything. You probably don't know, well you won't know, but my background is in engineering. I work for an engineering company. So I like newer stuff. I like new technology, new gear, new materials, all that stuff. So. Yeah, but so far I'm liking it. It's kept me warm all day. Uh, like I say, 12.7 ounces. Rab Xenon. Silky big boy, like a hot knife through butter. As you can probably see, everything has a layer of ice on it. So trying to get this fire going should be fun. My hair's all... I need a haircut real bad, real bad. But yeah. <sighs> Starting to feel like a bag of bee holes again. In a situation like this, when everything's wet, I want to try and find some stands of like thicker pine. It's 
spruce, something like that, and go for the lower branches, low dead branches. Normally they're dead, dry, and they're covered, so yeah, they'll light easier. I'm gonna try and use this hatchet, see if I can split this. I highly doubt it. Bounces off. I really don't care about this axe at all, so. It don't it just bounces off. Literally. doesn't do anything. It's probably too long. It's frozen solid. Oh man, that axe couldn't crack an egg, I swear. I feel like death. I feel horrible again all of a sudden. Felt good for a little bit and I'm just like... I'm drained. I'm absolutely drained. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit and hope with this fire. I'm gonna get my sleeping bag out because obviously it needs time to fluff up to trap the heat down sleeping bag so oh and I've got something to show you weirdly out of every piece of gear this is the one I'm most excited about flex tail gear I don't know if you saw that but flex tail gear max oh I don't know Flex tail gear, max pump two. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> blowing up my sleeping pad. Little rechargeable battery powered uh, pump, so. I'm excited about that, because blowing up the sleeping pad is a pain. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but we're going to see how quickly this does it. And I won't. And when I feel like this, normally when I blow my sleeping pad, I feel like I'm going to pass out anyway, so... I don't know how I'd feel today doing it. Love that thing, that's a godsend. Ah. 
asshole. Pro tip. Take an extra shirt. Put it over your sleeping pad. Like so. Take your inflatable pillow. Put it inside. This pillow won't move. Hike and bike. Snow mass. Zero degree. Down sleeping bag. In a long version. Retails for about $165. I've, worn, I've used it all the way down into the high teens and it's kept me warm every time. <sighs> I'm goosed man. I can't even bring myself to light the fire. I'm, I'm absolutely out on my feet right now. I'm I'm just gonna use my little gas stove and uh, boil some water and make some instant noodles because I'm just I'm drained. I'm absolutely just drained, and it's too. It's getting. I don't probably don't look it in the camera because of the aperture, but it's getting too dark to to hike out. So. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to just use my stove. See if I feel better when I eat. For those that have never seen it, this is my Toke 750. Keep a little BRS gas stove in there. And a little MSR fuel canister because they nest right inside. So that's what I'm going to use. As you can see, it's just about dark. I got some noodles and a cup of tea, hoping that'll lift my spirits. I've got firewood all sorted. I've got a bunch of birch bark, so if I've got the energy once I've eat this, eaten this, I'll light it. Right, I don't know. Hang on. I don't know if you can see that. I've basically layered it up and I've put birch bark in between each layer till I get to the thicker stuff. I put these two big fat ones underneath. So I'm gonna light it. I'm just gonna use the lighter. See, hopefully this works.
see how much smoke is coming off that fire. It's so wet. As you can see, fire's just going along nicely. Not bad. If I'd had my axe and not that little Walmart one, I could have split those other pieces and I think it would be going a lot better than it is now, but it's it's going away quite nicely. It's just going to burn. Those big logs on the bottom are burning in between, which is exactly what I needed, and they're burning fine. So, But anyway, I'm going to... Sit, sit and relax and yeah chill out and if anything changes I'll let you know but if not I'll get with you guys in the morning well guten morgen I slept let's put it that way I slept I went to sleep at like 7 7.30 and it's now well it's as you can see it's pretty light out and the sun rises at 7.30, so it must be a good 12 hours. Although it was intermittent because the uh, the trees kept breaking. Like, one, I know one, I don't know, I haven't been caught up yet to see whereabouts, but one at 3 in the morning, I was just in a dead sleep, I was dreaming about something. And, yeah, one of them came down real close to here. It woke me up. Excuse me. You ever been out in the woods and something wakes you up that's so loud that your heart, as soon as you're awake, your heart's like boom, 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 boom. That's what that was like. And on days like this, where there's no way I could have slept in a tarp, under, uh, in my tarp, or even my tent, because you never know what might fall on your head. These lean-tos, or a life saving plane. Anyway, yeah, I didn't catch a fish, even though I wanted to. But I got my ice fishing gear to do some more ice fishing. Let me know if you want to see me do some more ice fishing. I really want to do an ice fishing catch and cook. Probably need to do a bit more research into uh, what the fish, where the fish are in the lake, and what lake has what fish. So, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, man, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go back and watch some of my other videos. And I will see you on the next one. Take it easy. Look at this. This wasn't here last night. Or yesterday. Look at that. That's the top of a tree. That's not even a dead tree. That's not even a widow maker you could look out for. That's literally the top of a tree. I mean, look at this tree. How much snow and ice is on it. Another massive piece there, look.